Hello and good morning. I say good morning because it is morning here in Dallas, Texas. So I just wanted to jump on really briefly and talk to you about vinyl because in the group yesterday we started talking about vinyl and the different types of vinyl for um the new people to the group please utilize the files and the videos so that you can catch up to where we are um so that you'll be able to join in the conversation where we're talking about different things and um so let's get started i just want to talk about vinyl okay a little bit about vinyl to give you a visual so <clears throat> you have what you call a heat transfer vinyl. That means that whatever project you're working on, it's going to require heat to get that vinyl to stick to that project. Um, and so heat transfer vinyl is something that you would place like on a t-shirt. So you get a lot of t-shirts um, or you see a lot of t-shirts that have designs on them, struggle is real, um, on them, and that t-shirt required heat to get that vinyl to stick. Now, this is a glitter vinyl <clears throat> that's heat transfer. And don't pay attention to this, guys. Remember, the struggle is real, okay? But this uh, transfer vinyl, it's shiny on one side, and then it's matte dull on the other side. And so um, when you place this particular vinyl into your cutting machine, it would go in your mat, it would go on your mat, and it would actually go shiny side down. And the reason it's going shiny side down is because this is your transfer tape. So when you hear people talk about transfer tape and things of that nature, this doesn't require heat transfer vinyl does not require you to have transfer tape this kind of transfer tape and we'll talk about this in just a moment here is your transfer tape okay so when you pre put this down in your um on your mat and place it into your cutting machine the cutting machine is cutting the image out so that when you remove the excess vinyl from here you're left with the image or words on your transfer okay and then you would take this and <clears throat> after you have weeded out all the, all the part that doesn't belong and all you have left is just your words or your image then you would place that down on your t-shirt and then you have a sheet that you'll use to protect your iron or your um, heat press you'll place that down and then apply heat so that when you lift it up you're going to be left with the image or the words on your t-shirt okay so this is heat transfer vinyl it requires heat in other in order order for it to stick there's no other way for this to stick to anything without applying heat okay so that's heat transfer the other thing is you also have adhesive vinyl so this is just adhesive vinyl okay so the adhesive is between this Cricut backing and then the vinyl itself. The difference here, guys, is that when you place this on your mat, because it doesn't require heat, it's going to go on your mat, <clears throat> shiny side up, okay? And it's going shiny side up and the cutting machine is going to cut out the letters or the words and then you're going to pull away the excess vinyl that you don't need and then you're going to be left with <clears throat> you're going to be left with the images or the words here and then you're going to take this transfer tape this clear transfer tape and you're going to place it on top of this and then you'll use tools to get it off of here onto your transfer tape so your image or words will end up here and then from here you'll transfer it over to your mug or whatever smooth hard surface that you're going to apply it to so this is adhesive vinyl it does not require heat okay but in order for it to stick you have to put it on transfer tape and then apply it to your project okay so this will not work on t-shirts, guys. You cannot use adhesive vinyl on t-shirts. You have to use a vinyl that requires heat, OK? 
okay so i'm not trying to make light of anyone's um knowledge here i just want everyone to understand that we have different levels of users and non-users and users in the group and so i want to speak to those that are totally unaware of how this vinyl thing works okay so not trying to insult anyone you also have all types of vinyl and until you get used to what vinyl is used and how it's used and things like that like this doesn't have any wording on it so unless i really knew what kind of vinyl this was you know i might think i could use this for transfer uh heat transfer but you can't it cannot be used for heat transfer this is another adhesive vinyl so it's just blue in color but this is one that you would place on your mat like this okay and then it will require your transfer tape to get it over to a smooth hard surface like your mugs uh your thermoses and things like that um and then cricut also has a strong grip so sometimes when you're using um the glitter vinyl which is really really thick you may need a a, a stronger uh grip when you're trying to pull that um that image off and to get it on your transfer tape so um i have some a uh, glitter adhesive vinyl but i don't have it right here with me so i wanted to show you guys that um what else so you have adhesive vinyl which is this and this and then you also have heat transfer vinyl which is like this it requires heat for it to stick to your project and then you have transfer tape okay you don't need this kind of transfer tape tape when you're working with heat transfer vinyl because this is your transfer okay that's the way you want to think about that shiny plastic covering the other thing i want to tell you is that you also have t-shirt transfers Okay, and they come in for dark colors and light colors and sometimes you can get the package that has dark and light in one package but this is all dark okay so this is what that paper will look like it's smooth and clear on one side and then on the back it has the blue lines these blue lines are to indicate that this is dark t-shirt transfer paper so t-shirt transfer paper so if you aren't certain why they got these black these blue lines on here is because that's the in, the indication that this is for dark colored t-shirts okay if it was red then that would indicate that it's for your lighter color so just in case you you know for some reason throw your sheet in the garbage your packaging in the garbage blue is dark red is light blue <laughs> sorry blue is dark red is light okay but you would take this and you would place it into your printer i have a hp office jet uh 6968 so i would put the blue side up in my printer and then when it slides through it's going to come through like that with the image on it okay and then i would take that and put it into my cutting machine and my cutting machine would cut the image out and then i would peel away this blue backing i would peel that away and then lay it on top of my t-shirt the image and i would use the sheet that i'll talk to to you about in another video and i would place that sheet there and use my iron or my heat press and iron the image down to my t-shirt so make sure when people are talking to you about t-shirt transfers that you are aware of what type of transfer they're talking about or that you know what type of transfer it will take because when you start talking about making projects for other people you have to be able to educate them on what will work best because trust me when it goes wrong the first thing they're going to say is you didn't tell me that and they're going to want their money back okay so i want you to avoid that so you have adhesive vinyl you have heat transfer vinyl and then you also have transfer t-shirt transfer paper for dark or light colors okay and then um you also have transfer tape that you will need for non-heat non-heat vinyl okay because as you can see this vinyl which is the non-heat this is the adhesive vinyl 
it does not have a transfer tape so um, this is going to be your shiny side okay so these two would be used together okay all right guys i just wanted to jump on and share that information with you um there's lots of things that you can use instead of cricut uh strong grip transfer tape um so google youtube research different ways that you can do that i may put a video out here about that one day but um I have this so eventually I'm going to use it and then maybe once I don't have it anymore I'll talk about other things um, I also want to tell you guys that I am a crocheter I love to crochet my mother taught me to crochet and knit when I was a little girl so I never forget about my crocheters out there so just to prove that point I just wanted to show you somebody that's sitting here with me let me see if I can get it on there uh, da, da, da. let me just bring her around but look at her. Isn't she cute? She's so cute. She got a little purse and everything. Oh, her purse don't fell off, guys. But I love to crochet, guys. In addition to the Cricut cutting machine, I love to crochet. And she's a cutie. Look at her little boots, guys. Stop trying to look at her little booty back there. <laughs> But I love to crochet. Crocheting is something else that I love to do. I love making dolls. So if you ever have a question about crocheting or making dolls, guys, hey, put those questions out there. And we have a lot of people in the group, a lot of crafters in the group that crochet. So um, again, thank you guys for being a part of my group. Invite others to join us. Each one teach one. That's what it's all about. Make it a great day. Bye.